Go up, 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 quickly. Back, you beast. Is he really chasing us? Oh my gosh, he's pretty fast. Hey guys and gals, Pauly Jr. here and welcome to Desert Skies. This is out on Steam Early Access. I'll put a link down below so you can check it out for yourself. It'll go right to the Steam Store page. I believe it is 20 clams. That's US clams and it's single player and Windows only. And again, it is an early access game, so keep that in mind as we play. It's not complete. It's going to be some bugs and missing content and other general wackiness. But I want to jump in and play with you guys and show you uh, some of the gameplay. Apparently, this is very much like Raft, except that you're on a desert um, and you're on an airship in the desert. Um, so sounds fun. Yeah, let's jump in and play. We're going to do normal mode and away we go. And here we are in the desert and there's our airship which is a pallet and a wood stove and a little teeny weeny hot air balloon <laughs> so yeah we're gonna take this across the desert and avoid getting killed by the seeker is what it's called so that's basically like the shark in raft and in the meantime we have to stop and pick up scrap and use it to build up our um airship and survive and all that stuff so something mighty large burrowed up here great that must be the seeker which is essentially uh maybe a sand shark or a land shark or something oh there's food there oh this guy has had better days thanks for the hammer buddy he tried to fight with a hammer not smart so we got food tin here and a water skin can we just yeah we just eat and drink right now there we go we got health hunger and thirst up there and the hammer, yeah, see, it's not a weapon. It's, for, it's used for building. So that's why that guy didn't make it. What is that? Nails. Sweet. So, yeah, this, uh, apparently this map is pre-generated, you know, handcrafted. It's not procedurally generated. At least that's the word on the street. I don't know for sure. This guy tried to run, didn't get very far. I think this seeker thing is pretty quick. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it has huge, sharp teeth and can burrow in the sand, as we have seen over there, right? So let's grab our stuff and get out of here. Bandage. More nails. This stuff is really hard to see because it blends in and it doesn't glow. And a lot of it's really small. You can't tell if it's just part of the decoration or if it's actually something you can interact with, like a tree. Well, that requires an axe. We do not have an axe. Okay, I think we got everything. Let's put the wood in the stove. And I have a feeling I missed something. There were several items lying around. I should check again. Oh, they're glowing. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, how did I miss this wood? It's sticking right up out of the sand. <laughs> I mean, again, it just looks like it's part of all of the, uh, you know, the props. Hard to tell what's a prop and what isn't. But I like that it glows after the fact, right? So it's like, look over here, dummy. All right, cool. Whoop. So I guess now we get on the airship. We load it up. Oh, there we go. We're going up. Hold on tight. I think this thing just kind of flies on its own in the right direction, which apparently is that way. So, yeah, it's not, like I said, it's not randomly generated, this map. And you're on kind of a rail. And we're going to run into some POIs, some points of interest. And we're going to stop, collect resources, build up our little airship here, and try to survive. So, this should be fun. Yeah, not having procedural maps is going to limit the replayability, most likely. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe the developer will add random maps at some point maybe like a sandbox mode and this is going to be more of a campaign type mode i don't know just a guess it is still early access so there's a railway town up ahead with any luck i'll find some coal you don't say all right can we just uh stop all right we're going down there's a well there oh we're gonna go right in the middle of the town watch out <laughs> we didn't squish anybody did we I don't think there's anybody around here to squish. There's a bird, though. We're not alone. So this seeker thing, I don't know if it comes out at a specific time of day. 
or a night or what? Oh, we can drink right out of here. Requires a canteen to harvest. Oh, we can drink right out of it, or we can harvest it and bring it with us. Um, can we put that in the hot bar? Yeah, we can. That's a band-aid. And how do we move it? Right click to use or drag. Okay, let's put that over here. Very good. All right, well let's uh, let's check the help the, the the help wanted the wanted side. Western Gazette. President sends Legion to deal with critters. Critters? Critters? Crochets? Calls on settlers to stay and defend your homes. We'll call them critters. Critters. Let's go to the bank. It's always the first stop. Ow. Okay, so the door opens out. Close it in case that creature comes. All right, just a bunch of junk here. Again, I don't know what we can use, what we can pick up yet until we get more familiar with the game. Oh, we can check the desk. There's rope. And a rock. Oh, by the way, the rocks. I'm pretty sure we can toss the rocks to distract the seeker when he's on our tail. Can I pick that drink up right there? No. All right. Whew. Almost high noon. We got to get out of here. Actually, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Don't forget that church there. Yeah, nothing in there. I guess we're going in this building. I like how the buildings brighten up as soon as you walk in. What is this? Oh, we can make an axe here. Stone axe. Wood, stone, and rope. We got it all. Crafting a stone axe. That's nice. So now we can chop down trees for wood. Yay! We got an axe. And can we use that as a weapon? Harvest wood from trees and fiber from cactuses. Drag to the action bar. All right. Let's put it. Let's bring it up. And yeah, I want to drag it to the action bar. Put that in number one. And yeah, we used up my, my distraction stone. Ooh, there's nails. That's nice. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and heal since we're hurt. There we go. Not quite full. There's rope. I'd love to find a canteen. There's some more rope there. You'd think you'd find a canteen in a supply store. It's a lot of rope here, at least. So, can you only make an axe on this thing? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. Nothing here. Let's head out. Uh, so we can chop cactuses, huh? Oh, there's cactus fruits. Oh, that's awesome. And can we just take any cactus? Oh, we got this one right here. Fiber. Nice. What's a fiber look like? Used in crafting. Oh, got the whole dang thing. And this uh, cactus fruit's pretty awesome. Because that satisfies hunger and thirst. All right. Keep your eyes peeled for more of those. Let's go. Let's go to the church and work our way back. Oh, hold up. Hold it up. We have a second floor up here. Oh, there's a desk with stones. <gasps> safe. Dang it. Can't open the safes. They're just here for decoration. Okay, let's get back to the church. Can I chop this tree? Oh, yeah, we can. Wait a minute. I heard something. Was that me? I thought I heard some noises. Hello? Nobody home. Got some rope, though. Oh, I can play the piano. Cool. Oh, there's something here. Let's read it. Repent! The Lord has let the devil's demons out of hell to punish us for our sins. We must cast out the unclean among us. Only true believers will be saved. Well, I hope I'm a true believer. All right, let's get back to town, and we'll go along the left side of town and see what's up over here. Keep your eyes peeled for more of those cactus fruits. Oh, there's some right there. Ooh, 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 yeah. And some extra wood. Yeah, this is good eating right here. Good eating. Cactus fruits. Check the outhouses. You never know what you're going to find in one. Well, I mean, you have an idea of what you might find in one. Oh, what's this? Nails. See? Nails behind the outhouse. That looks like a loose board. Yeah, sooner or later I'll get used to what's... Uh, what, what we're able to pick up and, what we're, and what's not, right? And what's part of the actual um, backgrounds. Oh, look at that. We got some waters. Uh, we don't need to drink, but we can eat. How about if we eat one more of those? Let's check the jail cells. Nothing in here. Um, something on the seat there. Water skin. That's nice. Although, I'd like to get a canteen that we can refill at the wells. There's that wanted sign. 500 bucks for that feller. Well, we'll keep our eyes peeled. 
Let's check this thing out. Paddy wagon. Nothing. Oh, into the saloon we go. Love it. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Looks like the card game was interrupted pretty quickly and everybody bolted. What is that thing? Yeah, there's some kind of thing you can use as a distraction. I forget what it's called. Um, let's see how to play. Yeah, it's right in here. I read about it. Yeah, noisemaker. Oh, you put a bell inside. Does that not look like a noisemaker? I can't pick it up, though. Got a storeroom back here. Got to be some food. That's very nice. But no canteen, huh? Ah, more food. All right. So as far as I know, the loot is actually randomized. So the loot will be in different places each time you play. But again, the map is a static thing. So you get you get a little bit of uh, randomness, but not a whole heck of a lot. So these little end tables. Don't forget the end tables. Good stuff inside. Is that pickable? Pickupable? It sure is. All right. I don't know if the sun's going down or what, but I have a feeling that seeker's going to show up at any time. I don't know if it's scripted. Whoa! Is that the seeker? I think this is a bird. Is that a bird? Sun is still pretty high in the sky. So I don't think... I don't know if there's a night cycle. A day-night cycle. Kind of scared me. <laughs> oh, can we go up higher to the roof? <gasps> We're on the roof. We're on the roof. What is that? Broken bottle. A lot of broken bottles. Oh, it's a water tower. Some wood here. Can we get up to the water tower? Uh, up on the barrels, maybe? Uh, yep. Going up. No, I can't go any higher. Hmm. I was thinking maybe we could get up there and grab a drink. But apparently not. All right, well, we got to find coal, right? Oh, there's a train. There's a wrecked train over here. So I wonder if that's a steam train. There's going to be coal in it, right? Can we get in the carriage? I guess not. Oh, more nails here. You really do have to look in every little nook and cranny, don't you? And I still feel like I'm missing a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see. We put fuel in. Well, there's enough fuel in there right now. I want to hang out of my wood. We're going to need it for building, right? Let's go check out that train. Did we look over here yet? I don't think so. Some rope. Oh, yeah. My eyes are getting adjusted now. I'm picking things out of all the props. It's like back in the old days when I was a kid, I used to track down frogs and turtles in ponds. I got so good at it, I could spot them a mile away, the little heads poking out. Just little teeny little turtle and froggy heads. All right, in we go. Lights come on. And there's a desk. Grab the goodies. Can't pick that. Oh, it's a big chest. Nails. Lots and lots of nails. Suitcase down here. Oh, yeah. Now we're, now we're rolling, people. Now we're rolling. Train's not running today. Or ever. Again. Most likely. I love the music. Oh, it's a bell. That's the bell to use in the noisemaker. So we can make a noisemaker. Ooh, what's this? Ah! There's a dude. He's the driver. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. you to drive better next time. Cool. Oh my gosh, what is that thing? Is it an earth? That's not an earthquake. What is that? That's the thingy seeker. That's the dude. Oh my god, it looks. <laughs> Ride. Go up, 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 quickly. Back, you beast. <sighs> okay. Uh, put some fuel in. G. I think I want to save the 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 coal. Is he really chasing us? No way. Oh my gosh. He's pretty fast. I can't rely on only scavenging if I want to thrive. If I make some tools, I can harvest resources from the desert. Okay, yeah. I want to make tools. I just don't know how to make tools. In fact, I don't know how to do much. But can we... Um, I'm afraid if we drop... If we descend, he's going to... He's going to catch up to us. Let's get some of the stuff out of the inventory at least. And make some space here. Everything's happening so fast. 
That was really weird. I mean, he, he, I picked up the coal. He heard us pick up the coal. That seems um, a little far-fetched, but maybe it was a trap. Yep, I'm going with that. I'm going with the trap theory. And let's go ahead and eat some cactus fruit. Oh, you know what? We should keep our eyes open for cactus fruits, because we can just drop down and pick some up. But the problem with that is I think we I think we use fuel every time you drop and then rise up again. I'm not exactly sure about that. We'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah, that guy kind of reminded me of um, the Snake Men in XCOM. Remember XCOM? The old XCOM. Not the new XCOM. Although maybe they're in the new XCOM too. I just don't remember. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the fuel in there. That coal. So now we can go for a really long way. And we can save our wood for building. Now this looks like something up ahead. And I think we left that seeker in the dust. Oh yeah, there's definitely something here. So get ready to descend. I spy a small caravan. There's bound to be useful things in those wagons. Okay, we're going down. Oh, gosh. Can't you land a little softer and quieter? All right, let's grab some wood and we're going to get out of here quick. I, oh. Oh, yeah, here's that. You see the little snake man? Upper left. Was that there before? Oh, if we make noise. I got you. And picking up a piece of coal off the ground makes a lot of noise. Can we just run like this? Okay, this isn't too noisy. Oh, it is noisy. Gosh, all right, go slow. Alcohol? Okay. I could probably use some after this day. <laughs> Let's go check out the rest of these wagons that we get to get out of here. I don't know if he, if he just gets closer automatically or if he only can hear us. Curse these yellow-bellied croakers. So afraid of folk tales that they practically begged me to leave half my goods behind. No doubt their friends are back home robbing me blind as we speak. Anything missing is coming out of their wages. Uh, yeah. Things didn't work out so well. Can I get in there? Ah, there's food right there. You can, I don't think I can get in, but I can reach in. Oh, there's stuff up top. I just don't want to make too much noise. What is that? Oh, a brazier. <gasps> can we cook with a brazier? For building the smelter, blacksmith, and grill. Cool. Yeah, we want to start making stuff and crafting stuff. Another note here. Old man Murphy is an addle brain fool, making us waste time packing up all his worldly possessions before setting off. I swear, if we see one of them creatures, I'm running off and leaving the fiddlehead to his fate. Fiddlehead. Fiddlehead, I like that. Oh, can I just... There's rope inside. I'm reaching right through and grabbing the stuff. Okay, this is the jackpot. Holy cow. Food, tin, an ingot. An ingot. Now, is little snaky, little wormy, is he hearing? He is, he's hearing us every time we open something up. Really? Oh gosh. Okay, we gotta be cautious. I didn't know that. I don't it wasn't like that at the first town. But now that we have poked the beast, I think now when we make any move, we're making noise, and he can hear it. Alright, so we have a limited number of actions that we can do. Oh gosh. This must be his little tunnel network, I see. He's got a little tunnel network. Can I pick up stones? Oh, he heard me touching the stones with my feet. All right, we got to get out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> Every time I touch something. All right, go easy. Nice and slow. Let's get back on our... I want to say raft, but... <laughs> on our airship, and away we go. Ha-ha! Goodbye, little worm. I wonder if we could get up there. I'm not taking any chances. Now, does that worm meter reset when we leave the area? I don't know. Well, that was a lot. Of, yeah, it did. Okay, it's gone. That was a lot of pretty decent loot, I gotta say. Let's check it all out. So we have some more food. We have the brazier. We have alcohol using crafting and for the laboratory. Now, we have a lot of rocks we can use for distracting. And a bucket. Oh, I didn't even see the bucket. When did we pick up a bucket? Oh, I don't know, but we picked one up, so that's great. All right. Um, I think we're going to have to call it quits here, folks. This episode is probably long enough. 
So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and eat our last cactus fruit and then call it a day. Now, if you want to see more, please leave a like on the video and uh, feedback and comment and all that. What the heck happened to my coal? Oh, wow. It consumed all that coal? All right. Well, we better we better load up here. Okay. We're back, we're back to full. Tank is full. Um, so, yeah. If you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll be glad to play some more. It's pretty fun. I really like it. And it's still early access. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more content coming down the road. And hopefully um, procedurally generated maps would be pretty awesome. So, all right. Uh, I wonder if I should descend first. I don't want to just quit in the air. I have a feeling that would be a bad idea, especially in an early access game. So I think what I might do is wait till we get to the next point of interest and then I'll save it before we go in. Oh, and I think I see the POI up ahead. Another little town out here in the desert. Can't imagine uh, what they did for industry out here, but I don't know. Sand farming? Oh, gosh. Uh, looks like a farm. It is a farm. All right. Same thing Luke Skywalker did. Um, in uh, Tatooine, right? Moisture farm. All right, we're going to save it right here. The worm has already heard me jump off the, uh, the airship. So we'll pick up right here in the next episode. So see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.